hey y'all welcome to another video i hope you're having an awesome day as you can see today i decided to make halloween slash fall drinks for my boys because i know everybody don't do halloween so it's something just for fall or halloween and if you know me you know i like doing this type of stuff with my boys and they really enjoyed it they turned out real good and i kind of freestyle with this so this kind of like came off the dome and a lot of these ingredients are ingredients that you might already have in your refrigerator or your pantry other than the specific candies that you want to buy but stay tuned if you want to see how I made these super easy Halloween slash fall drinks for my kids. Number one, all I used was orange Fanta. I used some whipped cream. I used some candy corn. And I also used some vanilla ice cream. Y'all, please don't talk about me because I couldn't find my ice cream scooper. So I chose this spoon. I had to make it do what it do. We still made it work. So with these recipes, I didn't get into the particulars of measuring how much of each ingredient you should put because it's totally up to you with these, like y'all, it really don't matter. However much ice cream you want, however much soda you want, um, however you wanna do it. But with the soda, just know when you put the ice cream in there, it's gonna fizz up. So you may have to wait a minute before you can pour the rest of the soda in there. So I just waited and let it die down some, and then I poured it until I felt like the um, glass was full enough. And then, yeah. And here's the finished product with drink number one. Y'all, I didn't come up with the name for all of these drinks. So if you have a name in mind, you can leave it down in the comments below and tell me what you think we should call these drinks. So moving on to drink number two, the ingredients for this one. I use Ready Whip. I use the Grape Jello, And I also picked up this Missing Body Part Gummy Candy from um, Party City. With drink number two, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my topping. So first I used some whipped cream. I didn't have the kind that you scoop out, so I just used this kind. Um, I used whipped cream and I put some great jello in there. And once again, I did not measure, but um, <clears throat> I made it until it was the consistency that I wanted and it was the color that I wanted. Because at first it was too light, so I had to add more jello. So it's totally up to you. And when you do this, please don't look for the topping to be as fluffy as just the plain whipped topping. It's gonna like, it's gonna be smooth and it's gonna be a little bit more dense because I added the jello to it. But that's the look I was going for. So just know it's not gonna look like just regular um, whipped cream that you spray out of the can. And this is the consistency you're gonna wanna go for. It's kind of smooth and creamy, and it's not as fluffy, it's kind of flat, but that, that's how I want it. So all I did, I made some lemon lime Kool-Aid, I put it in the glass and I set it to the side. And then I made the topping, and since I didn't have a piping bag, all I did was took a Ziploc bag and I put all the whipped topping in there and I put a little slit in the side, and then I just squeezed it out on top of the glass so it'll look neater. 
then I came in with my candy. Depending on what type of candy you use, the candy may um, sink down to the bottom if it's heavy, but that's okay too because I like the look of being able to see the candy floating at the bottom or sitting at the bottom through the glass. So for me, either way, it's fine. Just so happens all of my candy, it kind of stayed at the top in my whipped topping. Here's what drink number two ended up looking like. I thought it was so cute. For some reason, it makes me think of Ghostbusters. Like I told y'all, I don't have a name for either of these drinks. So if you have a name that suits this drink, let me know down in the comments. Here we go with drink number three. For this one, I use strawberry syrup. I use strawberry Fanta. And I use this gummy eyeball candy. I also got this from Party City. And again, we use vanilla ice cream. You'll see this drink is very similar to the first drink that I made. Y'all, right here, I was supposed to be coating the side of the glass with the strawberry syrup. But for some reason, the syrup wasn't thick enough and it just fell down to the bottom. But um, I think it still turned out cute, trial and error. For some reason, I don't know why this syrup was so thin. And um, it didn't do what I wanted it to do, but um, I made it work. So right now you're gonna add as much ice cream as you would like to have in your drink. And it's pretty much the same concept as drink number one. You just pour your drink and it's gonna fizz up. You may have to wait until it goes down if you wanna pour some more drink and then you go in and do your toppings. So here's the finished product of all three drinks. Y'all let me know which one you think is your favorite drink number one, number two, or number three. And if you have some creative names for the drinks, please leave that in the comment because I would love to know what y'all think about the drink. But I do think they came out pretty cute, if I must say so myself. Um, we had so much fun making these and hopefully you can make memories with your kids also by making some drinks or some fun treats for the fall or Halloween. But thank y'all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.